Hi guys, this is uh, Sean with Greenleaf again, and it's planting today out to, out here at the farm. My trees finally came, and I'm kind of happy about that. I got a blueberry that I'm planting, a plum, about a seven foot Santa Rosa plum, and it's very important when you're getting plum trees or any other kind of tree to make sure that it goes to the in the right zone where you're at. If it doesn't, it'll die. Like I got this one here that is good to zone nine, where we're at. Also, I got a pecan tree here because we are on the very southern edge of where you can grow pecan trees. But again, you gotta think about, if you get a pecan tree, you need a 40 foot in diameter circle that they go in. You can't plant anything within 40 feet because they get so big. So you gotta plan for that and have room for it. I also have, and the reason why you don't see any leaves on any of these, these are all dormant this time of year. So this is normal for them. And uh, you see this, this is a uh, Florida home pear. And this is a hood pear. And the thing about pears, you need more than one pear in order to have pears because they need to cross pollinate or pollinate each other. They are not self pollinating. A Florida king peach and a golden dorset apple. And I'm also going to put a few moringa in the ground too. So that ought to keep me busy. Talk to you later.